Many Magic the Gathering players won't stop buying this ripoff. Stop buying this ripoff. Oh, hello. It's funny, you don't look like a sucker, and yet you continually buy ripoffs like this at Target. Just, just look at this. It doesn't even have a name. Does that fill you with confidence? This particular ripoff is $29.99 and can be found exclusively at your local Target store. As I mentioned, it doesn't even have a company or repackaging corporation presented on it. That means it is more ashamed of itself than MJ Holdings, and that is saying something. Whoever is behind this has a lot of garbage to clear out. In the past, maybe things like this had old Commander decks, but those have both run out and also proven themselves to be too valuable to just give away for, my god, $29.99. So we are down to repackaging the most utter garbage and unsold junk and not even bothering to put a name on it. Well, I've got a name for this. Slurry. Let's take a look at what the word slurry means and then compare to this product's contents to see if they match. Slurry. Noun. A thin mixture of an insoluble substance such as dirt, coal, manure, or oil relating to thin or fluid mud slime. So what does your $30 get you? Nothing! Two booster packs of Corset 2019. I, wait, wait a second. 2019? This is a year old Corset. It doesn't even have the current Corset in it. It has the old one that is of zero use anymore. Okay. Oh, and hey, it's the 2016 free sample deck. The stuff that's given out at local game stores for free and are handed out like pamphlets at events like Comic-Con and PAX, etc. Oh, and so what do these things do? These aren't even decks. Hey, take a closer look. Can you guess what these are? This, my friends, is about one-fifth of the contents of a deck builder's toolkit. What is included here is the land and excess commons Uncommons pack from the I Kid You Not Shadows Over Innistrad Deck Builders Toolkit. Looks like a thin mixture of an insoluble substance such as manure to me. So we're past the point of there even being decks in these things. When you get a Deck Builders Toolkit, if you've seen my videos on this, there's a large selection of commons and uncommons, land packs, things like that, as well as a bunch of booster packs. Well, this isn't even half of that. This is two of the multiple sealed contents within a deck builder's toolkit, arguably the two weakest. I mean, this is just the lands pack, essentially, common and uncommon lands, and the other one is the commons with some uncommons pack. I'll open it up and show you, but this is what is in the Shadows Over Innistrad deck builder's toolkit, but it's only about a fifth of what was in there. I mean, this isn't even half a dual deck. This isn't any part of a deck. It's slurry. $30 for this. Deck Builders Toolkits are $19.99 new. Total value? Laughable. Two 2019 packs are maybe valued at best $6 for the pair. The land packs, I don't know, $3 to $4, but this is relatively incomplete. The commons packs, sorry, partial commons packs from a three-year-old deck builder's toolkit, it's worthless. You can find these for a couple of bucks on eBay. The promo, which is arguably the most useful thing here, goes for just about two bucks. The free sample deck, well, free. Yeah, come on now. Oh, and let us not forget this fine case. Total value, I suppose we've got a little over 1050 here, depending on how high you value those core 2019 booster packs. And if you value the three-year-old Deck Builders Toolkit partial pack of commons, which I really don't. Also, I would never ever pay $10.50 for this pile. And if you pay $29.99 for it, then you are getting cheated. This isn't even a grab bag anymore. This isn't a mystery box. It isn't a lottery ticket. You are being ripped off, plain and simple, if you buy this. The most worthless, most unsellable Magic the Gathering leftovers have been picked up off the floor of a massive packaging and distribution warehouse somewhere and sold to you with the express purpose of cheating you. You 
are being cheated. Hey, maybe the professor had some bad luck and just got a bad one. You are incorrectly saying. Three years ago, my friend bought a completely different thing at Walmart and it had a commander deck in it. You murmur, buy another one. You coward, you shout. All right, I did at a different target in a different state. Let's take a look. So here we have another of these slurries, this time from a Target in Los Angeles, where I was last week visiting my good friends at the Command Zone. I had already purchased the first slurry in my home state of Oregon, and was just picking up some toothpaste and shampoo at a local Target when I saw that they too had slurries, and figured I should buy another for $30. $30. This video cost me $60 to buy these slurries, and that's pretty much what it'll earn in ad revenue. But I do it for you, dear viewers. I am trying to save you your money. Look at this absolute ripoff. It's the same thing, except it uh, looks like it has a land pack instead of one extra common uncommon pack. I can't even tell if that's better or worse. 30 bucks a basic land, folks, and year old core 2020 boosters. You know, when I did my warning video on Walmart mystery cubes, a lot of people countered my assessment with this idea that there could still be something good in them. Maybe. Many had tales from literally years ago of them being stuffed full of better items, such as commander decks. This is a very damaging way of thinking for you as customer, and it is what allows these companies, whoever ultimately is making this nameless, faceless product, to cheat you of your money. Know what you are getting before you get it. Know this is not the same as buying a Magic the Gathering booster pack, which, yes, is a lottery ticket item, but no, it does not have a chance to just be 15 land cards. Again, that's another thing many try and snarkily counter with. Well, actually, if you think about it, booster packs are no better. Yes, they are. You know what you are risking when you buy a booster pack, and you know what your chances are of getting what the good stuff is. This is different. Booster packs are a gamble, no question. They are a risk, but they are not an outright scam. Words have meaning. This, I would say, does meet the criteria of a scam. And to anyone from Wizards of the Coast who might be watching, please, this hurts your company greatly. This hurts your product greatly. Maybe you have absolutely nothing to do with this, and if you do have something to do with this, you should stop. But maybe you have nothing to do with this. Even so, you should be using all your power, all your sway with Target and Walmart to put a stop to these items being sold on the shelf next to your real products. We can argue about the value of Planeswalker decks versus Guild Kits and Challenger decks and which is the best buy until the cows come home. But at the end of the day, anyone, anywhere, spending $30 on this ripoff is a magic customer whose loyalty and faith in the company and its products is irreparably harmed by this being on the shelves, for them being cheated by this ripoff. Even if you didn't directly make it, you should be fighting to get rid of it. If you have any power, Wizards of the Coast, subsidiary of Hasbro, if you care about your bottom line at all, I didn't say care about your customers, let's talk about the bottom line. You should at least be trying to get ripoffs and scams like this off the shelves of Target and Walmart. Never mind the community. This is going to hurt your own profits in the long run. Final conclusion. Yeah, this garbage is a ripoff. Don't buy it! I review Magic the Gathering products on my channel. This garbage is not an actual product. It is a borderline scam in the true meaning of the word, and without doubt, it is an extreme ripoff. Don't let yourself get ripped off. Don't be a sucker. Don't buy these. These slurries do not get a fail. 
they are expelled. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. I hope very much you only shop at Target and Walmart and Amazon if you have to, if you must. And I hope very much you see the value and importance of shopping at a local game store instead. You're supporting your magic community. And this program was made possible thanks to a sponsorship from Card Kingdom, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. So thank you.